think we've just got time just yeah. to take a couple more questions. Anybody over this side? I'm aware we haven't been over this side. Uh, Dutch wave, wave Hi, if I can yes. just have a quick go. Yes. <laughs> sorry. Um, can you wave? Can you wave? Yeah, no, sorry. Oh, right, Hello. Okay. Um, I was just going to say uh, quickly that um, uh, I've worked with um, vulnerable adults who um, are residents in a in a in a clinic, and um, they're restricted to the sort of things that they can do in terms of exercise. And I think exercise is an excellent way of uh, increasing your self of well being and self awareness. And um, I, I'm a graduate from 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 drama school as well. And so we always used to do things that were a lot to do with open-mindedness, you know, sort of Alexander Technique, things like that. And I'd really like to sort of introduce those kind of things to these people that I work with. But one of the things that I think about is um, people with such things such as uh, schizophrenia. They've got high levels of arousal to their environment, and it makes me wonder whether that would have a detrimental effect on someone like that because of the way the outside world affects their judgment and how they live their lives, you know? That's a very interesting question. Could focusing attention in that way cause any difficulties? Or? Yeah, I mean, I've done some work with, with people that are experiencing psychotic um, phenomena and, you know, the way that I made the adaptations of the mindfulness training was very much sticking with the body and sticking with mindful movement. So short exercises, short and gentle movements, full awareness of the movement as you're doing it, and, and lots of this stuff that Ruby was talking about, which is literally, think of the feet. Actually, technically, we're not thinking of the feet. We're paying attention to the moment-by-moment -moment sensory unfolding of all the information coming into the feet from the mind. But what the guys said after the class was, oh, that was really great. I just did that think of the feet thing, and then I was able to get on the bus, or I was able to you know, walk into the lounge because I just came out of this chaos that was here and just went, can I feel my feet on the floor? So with skill and with adaptations, and on my website there's a paper that talks about how to work with more severe mental illness and, and mindful movement. 